Decorating for the holidays can be a lot of fun, and it can also be a lot of work if you let it get out of hand. That's why my motto is keep it simple and try to use as many things as you have around the garden, like these tomato cages. When you combine them with a few other unlikely objects and a little creativity, it's amazing what you can come up with. By simply turning the cage upside down in an ordinary garden container like this, you get that classic conical Christmas tree shape and the beginning of a festive decoration. I start by steadying the cage. I'm using these long wire pins I made by cutting and bending a coat hanger and pushing it into the soil. For a touch of greenery, I'm wrapping the tomato cage with this garland. Now if you don't have a garland, you could just simply attach evergreen boughs to the wire frame. I just connect the garland to the bottom and create a spiral by winding around to the top. When I have all the greenery in place, it's just a matter of wrapping it with a string of lights. I'm using all white and making sure they're evenly distributed. The glow of the lights at night will really set the tree off. And for visual interest during the day, I'm adding two kinds of apples, these little crab apples and these small braeburns, as well as some pine cones. Now a way to benefit wildlife and get the kids involved is to make birdseed ornaments by covering pine cones with peanut butter and rolling them in birdseed. To finish it off, I'm using this festive bow. It's just amazing what you can come up with with a little imagination and a few things around the garden. From the garden, I'm Alan Smith.